Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my makeup basket, which I do every two weeks. And previously I called this my bi-weekly makeup basket, but I'm gonna go ahead and just call this my makeup basket from now on. I am going to be filming an everyday makeup drawer or everyday makeup basket that I'm going to have products that are just going to stay there, maybe rotate um, in and out throughout the year, but products that I'm just going to work on on the side in addition to project pan items and makeup basket items. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this makeup basket and I'm going to start with the things that I'm going to be putting on my face starting with primers, foundations, powders, things like that and then we'll move through. Same format the way I've been doing these makeup baskets all along. I've been struggling a little bit with my makeup basket because I'm still trying to formulate the things that I want to do for projects this year. I'm putting together a rolling five pan project which um, I'm going to film a video for shortly. I am doing a project pan collab currently and just some goals that I want to meet for the year. So I'm having a hard time with that and my makeup baskets trying to pull in products that I want to try and use and potentially decide whether I want to declutter them from my collection or not. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this video starting with primers that I'm going to be using. I am going to be filming like I said that um, rolling five pan project pan um, and one of the first things that I'm going to have in that project pan is this cover effects illuminating primer just a mini because one of the goals that I have this year is to get rid of my mini deluxe sized makeup items and um, all of my little sample items as well so I'm also going to try and use these two Smashbox photo finish primers which I've used before I don't have a full size of just the samples and this professional just because um, I want to get these things out of my life but currently the primer that I am working on is my spackle tinted under makeup primer in ethereal from Laura Geller this is one of the primers that I want to finish for the year so this is the one that I'm currently working on also one of my foundation goals for this year I wanted to finish this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous so this is what I wanted to focus on for this next two weeks um, that I'm going to be doing these current products. I do have another couple of foundations that I want to finish up this year but this is what I want to work on for the next two weeks to try and get as much progress as I can on this. Um, and then also in the interest of decluttering things from my collection I pulled these three L'Oreal True Match um, foundations and these are all in the shade 2 but this is C2 which is the cool this is N2 which is neutral and this is W2 which is warm and I just want to see which one works best for me or whether I'm going to need to keep one or two of these for um, mixing purposes because I definitely don't need all three of these so I wanted to um, work through those as far as powder goes, I was using this Urban Decay Naked Medium Light Naked Skin Ultra Definition Press Powder. I just started this at the beginning of the year, if you remember, and I posted on my Instagram that I had hit pan on this. Then I posted that um, a large piece of it broke off last night, and today all of it broke off and shattered onto the floor, which has dog hair and all sorts of stuff and it's so soft I wasn't able to pick up enough product to go ahead and repress this. So I did pull out my Milani face powder in 02 light medium. This is the multitasker face powder. I haven't used this at all. Um, so this is starting brand new and this is going to be the powder that I'm going to use. I am currently working on my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in my Sweet on Project Panning, Project Pan. So that is going to be a bronzer that I'm going to be working on. But I did pull three more bronzers out of my collection. Just like I said, in the interest of working through things and helping me with declutters in the future. So the first thing I pulled is this Wet n Wild Fergie. And this is in Carnival in Rio. And this is called to reflect shimmer palette and this is very very shimmery but I thought this would look beautiful 
um, blend it out on the cheeks with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil as a contour. I am trying very hard to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer every day in some way so that I can try and make progress on that. The next thing that I pulled is this Master Highlight by Face Studio in Light Bronze. This verges very close to a highlighter but it is a little too dark for a highlighter but very light as a bronzer. This again is very shimmery but I thought that this would give me kind of the opposite effect whereas this is very deep and coppery. This would be very light and bronzy on my skin so I thought I could use this in combination with the Chocolate Soleil as well. And then I have this CoverGirl Clean Normal Skin Pressed Powder in the shade 165 Tawny and this is matte obviously because it is a face powder but I wanted to go ahead and see how I felt about this as either a contour or a um, bronzer shade it is quite dark um, if you can see it is quite dark there and I just wanted to see if I would be able to pull this off at all otherwise this is going out of my collection Last week I pulled this Narcissist um, blush palette and I really enjoyed using some of the shades in here and I wanted to go ahead and pull this out again this week because I did not use this shade or this shade right here and I wanted to get some more use out of this. And I wanted to pull a couple of blushes, but I ended up only pulling this one, this Hard Candy Living Doll. I have never used this and I'm really, really into a light pink blush so I wanted to see how I felt about this see if this is something that I can work with for a light pink blush so I pulled that and as far as a highlight because I have several highlighters that I'm working on and one that I'm actually going to put in my rolling project five pan um, I only pulled one highlighter and this is the Maybelline by Face Studio in Illuminata and so um, I've used the nude one. I really enjoy that. There is a light bronze, I think. Where is that what I have? There is one more um, that is a kind of highlighter type shade. And um, I will probably pull that at some point. But I did just want to pull one highlighter to see how I feel about this. Again, to aid me in my decluttering choices. And as far as eyeshadows go, I have several that I'm working on in my Sweet On Project pan. I have my Pan That Palette palettes for this year, but I do still have the goal of hitting pan on as many shadows as I can this year, just like I did last year. So um, I went ahead and picked another um, Urban Decay palette, and this is, I will just hold it up this way. This is what the palette looks like. I forgot what this palette is called. It's in this... Um, metal tin here um, and it has 10 shadows in it so I wanted to use this eyeshadow palette for the next couple of weeks I decided not to pull another one um, along with this I want to try and go through my palettes and give them all some love but I definitely wanted to be able to focus on my pan that palette shadows and focus on the shadows that are in my Sweet on Project Panning. So that um, is all I pulled for eyeshadows. As far as mascaras, the two current ones that I'm working on are my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and my MAC um, Zoom Lash. I do have another couple that are going to be in my everyday makeup basket when I film that video, but these are the two that I'm going to be working on for the next couple of weeks. And then the Last thing that I have, um, what did I, okay. The last thing that I just wanted to mention are the lip products that I'm currently working on. I'm using my MAC Naked Bud, and this is in my Sweet On Project Panning. And then the lip gloss that I just pulled to start working on in my little trio of lipsticks that I'm currently working on. This is my Buxom White Russian. I did lose my MAC lip gloss in Nymphette. I had lost the one in see-through, so I'm just apparently really bad about losing lip glosses. Hopefully I will find the one in Nymphette, but this is the one that I'm currently going to work on. So these are the two lip products that I'm really going to focus on in the next two weeks. And as far as 
um, eyeliner goes. I'm really going to try and focus on this MAC Teddy Eye Coal. I do have several others that are also going to be in my everyday makeup basket, um, but this is the one that I'm currently going to work on because it is also going to be part of another project. I know, tons of spoils here, but... Um, that is it for my makeup basket this week. I did have a request to take a photo and post it on Instagram because um, sometimes people aren't able to catch up on YouTube videos as easy as they're able to scroll through Instagram. So I am going to go ahead and do that, take a picture of these products and go ahead and post that on Instagram. So thank you guys so much for watching my basket. I'm sorry if it's a little bit more boring than um, they typically are, but I definitely want to focus on the products that I'm using in my project pans and that I have um, as 2017 makeup use up goals and really see how many products that I can finish this year. So I'm trying not to get too distracted with other products while at the same time um, pulling enough products that I can determine whether I want to declutter those things and really get my numbers down in my inventory for the year. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.